Oh hey, out in the woods today, and we're gonna build one of these lean-tos that I've been seeing so much about. Uh, they're all the rage right now. They're popping up like mushrooms on the Real Outdoors YouTube channels, and I'm curious to see what all the fuss is about. So, step number one is to turn on this thermocell. In my last video, I did compare these a little bit to those mosquito coils, and I misspoke. Uh, on further examination, it is the same ingredient, except it's 0.31% in those coils, and it's like 27 full percent or something in these. So there's a big difference, but you know, get this going and clear out this area because they're ferocious today. Yeah, this one's pretty dead, so uh, that'll make a good, a good beam for the top. So let's bushcraft a lean-to. So the first piece of this puzzle here is uh, these two trees. This is a little tiny one, but it should do. It's just got to hold up a, a branch or something. So <clears throat> I think between these two, yeah, almost like I planned it. So I'm going to grab my zip ties here and uh, just secure it real quick. There we go. Same deal over here. All right, looks fairly secure. Nice. chopped up a bunch of these uh, trees to the same length. I'm gonna, just gonna stick them up there. I want a little bit of an overhang so I could kind of sit under it if it's raining. But yeah, this looks good. I could live a happy life in here when it's done. Oh. -ho. And before I go crazy sticking all these up, I'm just going to clear out this brush underneath of here. And uh, it is worth noting, where I live, we don't have issues with poison ivy, that type of thing. We have these, uh, these wild roses. You can see the thorns on them. Uh, they're not pleasant to sleep on. And ticks are not really a huge, huge concern here. There are some, of course, but for the most part, you know, I wear uh, jeans. I'm never in like shorts walking through the woods because that's what's going to cause the issues with uh, the issues with ticks. It's not too bad at all. Huh. All this bushcrafting is making me pretty thirsty. So I've been into these Jasper Brewing Company beers. They don't sponsor me or anything, but. Uh, they have nice names, Trail Session IPA, because we're on the trail here. And IPAs, for the most part, I find them a little hoppy. Some of them can go nuts with those hops, especially the small craftier ones. But, uh... okay. Yeah, it's not too skunky. It is crisp, that's for sure, and it's nice and cold. But that's too many hops in the beer, you know. It's not a hop contest here. Nothing wrong with a good old... Clean, crisp, refreshing summertime beer that goes down smooth. Mm. Yeah.
That'll hold it on. That's good. Won't blow away anytime soon. Oh, need two. Lean-tos are different, so I'll give them that. I'm just going to throw an old tarp on this thing uh, to give it its IP67 waterproof rating. This is way too big. It's good stuff. I can see the appeal of these things. They're, uh, takes about five minutes to build them. You don't have to bring a tent or anything with you. And provided you got uh, a really good insect repellent, like Thermacell, you should be, uh, you should be doing okay, I think. I'm gonna, uh, set up a little cot here. And I'll be able to get out of this sun, relax a little bit, and cook up some lunch. I won't be quite staying out over here tonight, because, uh, yeah, no spring chicken anymore, and my back is out uh, pretty severely. Got some pulled something, I'm not sure what. What I definitely want to do is get inside onto that uh, king size memory foam mattress instead of this. Uh, this uh, this cot. Oh. Ah, yeah. Voila, off the ground. Just barely, but uh, technically off the ground. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All that bushcrafting really worked up a hunger, so I'm gonna make a little uh, pita pizza thing. So I got this this bread that opens up, and you can uh, put fillings in the middle of it. That's just what I'll do. And uh, this one's coming out well before Canada Day. So uh, in Canada, our Independence Day is on the first of July. And we just call it Canada Day, so that's coming up. And I should be able to, to get a shout out to my American friends on the next video for Independence Day. And sadly, I have no fireworks with me today. But, you know, who needs fireworks when you're in the pure abundance of nature? So, I'm just throwing in some matzo cheese, throwing in some spaghetti or <laughs> pizza sauce. And I get that cooking on butane Elaine. That should be quite good. So, yeah. I've never tried this before. I have no idea if it's going to actually work or not. But this was uh, what I had in the cupboards. So that's what I'm having for lunch. Small amount of cheese. Some pepperonis. And yeah, while I'm here, I'm going to give a shout out as well to the people who have donated to the, um, the beer donation gift fund. Uh, you guys really uh, are helping out with the adventures. <laughs> and the borders have opened up now into British Columbia next door. And that's where we love to do lots of our camping. So that is uh, nice bear country. There's mountains. Uh, it is a real beautiful place to camp. And it's looking like we're gonna find our way back there. Because we have an annual tradition is that usually around July 15th every year, uh, we head out to, to a certain secret spot of which we know of 
And usually the wild blueberries are in bloom. That's just going to be uh, an awesome trip. And I'm getting I'm getting excited about that already. <laughs> and a lot of other nice things planned. Crazy neighbor and I are going to go our ten days uh, in that ten days in that raft thing that we built out of rain barrels. So, a whole bunch of good fun things coming up. A whole bunch of good fun things coming up real soon. And uh, I didn't get out to do my stealther that I wanted to this week. Because uh, cause this back, you know. I ain't, uh, I ain't as spry as I used to be. And, uh, you know, maybe I was a little optimistic about uh, how comfortable it is in the back of the uh, SUV. Because when I camped for the night, I woke up feeling pretty good. But <laughs> um, a few days later, I am... Uh, it feels like I'm paying the price now. So, just kind of a, a quick little update vid this week, and I figured I may as well build a lean-to, you know? That's all everybody ever seems to build, or a super shelter or something, and here I am just using a, a tent or, or a tarp or something, or a hammock, so. Um, I figured I'd throw one together. It's, uh, it's something, uh, you know, I could see, I could see, uh, making them bigger and you know having uh, having a peak to it or something there are all sorts of things um, eventually that I'll try to do to improve on this uh, this lean-to concept well I can smell this already I'm gonna let this cook and uh, turn it down a little I just want to melt the cheese really and, and warm it up and uh, take a peek around my surroundings here and see what interesting stuff we have. We've started blazing these trails a couple of weeks ago. They're pretty rough and rugged, but they're certainly passable on quad or on foot. And we're gonna keep connecting them and make a bigger network of trails out here because we got enough area to do that type of thing. Now, this little tree, when it was uh, still alive, had a woodpecker nest in there. And the woodpeckers when they're looking for bugs, they just make little holes, but if they're actually going to crawl in and build a nest, they, uh, it's these little square things that they, they crawl right into. So, um, there's a major woodpecker infestation around here, and I hear them quite often. Alright, that smells like it's burning. So, I investigate. Well, well, well. It doesn't look burned. Oh no, I was wrong. It's burned. Mm -hmm. So you, you gotta keep an eye on these uh, if you're if you're gonna make one of them. I will give it a bite and see how it looks despite the charred aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually it's not that bad. It's like a wood-fired, uh, thin crust pizza. You got the char on it. Very good, very good. Um, so that's, uh, that, that's a handy meal. You can put pretty much anything in these things, um, fry them up. I'm very pleased. Oh, how'd the bug get into my cheese? This place is, uh, this nature's insatiable. Anyhow, uh, yeah, I'm gonna chow down on this. And then uh, we're going to have um, a bunch of different videos coming up here. I know some people really like the stealthy ones, and I do too. That's uh, the next one I'm filming is going to be a stealth one. Uh, probably tomorrow I'll be filming that to get a few videos, um, a few videos ahead. Because when we go on the river for ten weeks uh, or 10, 10 days to maybe two weeks. Um, I'm gonna need uh, something to fill in that Thursday. So we, we got a bunch of really cool cool things. Um, with uh, the province of BC opening back up again, we're gonna scoot in there. We're not gonna be in public campgrounds, that type of thing. And this year, unfortunately, isn't the year to do the hunker con or hunker down meetup. 
um, hopefully hopefully next summer uh, things will be smoother and we can actually we can do that have a big uh, have a big party out in the the woods somewhere a bunch of step twos uh, some laughs some some good times campfire so that that'd be pretty sweet and it's definitely on the list of uh, list of projects uh, that are on the go I've got an accountant now um, who's helping with my business um, of the furnace repairs and um, actually helping with with planning for the YouTube channel as well so that takes a lot off my plate that I don't have to be sitting there going through receipts at my kitchen table and uh, I can just uh, I can just offload that all to my wonderful accountant uh, cheers to Bruce and Sheila who are helping me in that department so um, that's you know pretty much all I got for you this week um, but I'm I'm filming some more so thanks guys for uh, for coming along to watch me try and throw together um, what at least resembles a lean-to and um, I have a little pita pizza into the forest uh, in the forest here so mm. yep all you need in life is um, some zip ties and a tarp uh, then uh, yeah I think that's all you need in this crazy thing called life and you got yourself a shelter so cheers guys we'll see you next week and um, hopefully sooner but uh, next week for sure stay uh, stay stealthy hunker down and um, God bless see you guys next week